Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to show you the first boot of Fly Me Always on Redmi Note 3. So this is the Fly Me Always running on Redmi Note 3. This is the lock screen we get. These are the notifications we can see. You can swipe the notifications out and the fingerprint is available guys. That's a good news. Now let's check out the clock application is also good. The gallery application is also clean. Most I have noticed that most of the applications are pretty close to the iOS, not this one, but most of the applications like the launcher, it looks like iOS launcher and the features also like when we swipe from down to upside we get this search bar and we can search anything on this launcher then we have some tools here like flashlight the compass and uh, the ruler and all those things yeah we have the calculator we have the inbuilt file explorer which I definitely love it it is also pretty clean it has a clean user interface, the paint application is also there there is one security app just like the MIUI version it has all those stuff and we have this Chinese bloatwares which I really hate and I want to uninstall them but I am not able to uninstall them even via ES file explorer I'll just show you one thing when we go to root explorer one key uninstall system apps and when I try to uninstall this app this shows uninstall field <laughs> I really don't know how that's, this is happening but I'll be definitely able to uninstall these bloatwares afterwards so let's go ahead and see the settings we have the same settings like sim networks, lan, bluetooth and threatening hotspot now this setting is new and we can manage the toggle management of here now this feature is pretty cool we just we are able to see the toggles and just drag down we get the brightness sliders and more toggles which is pretty awesome and even I like this Gaussian blur which the notification bar has in background which makes this status bar look awesome and this thing the tinted status bar also makes this thing ROM looks good like we have the same color of the action bar to the status bar which really makes this ROM special <laughs> to me we have the do not disturb version Oops. we can adjust all those things personalization we have all those wallpapers gallery font display brightness we have these usual settings now in security to set up fingerprint we are not able to see fingerprint here but this application is for setting up the fingerprint we need to just manage fingerprint and enroll fingerprint and add a new fingerprint to them so I'll just give this part I've already give, given my fingerprint here we can add fingerprints also more than one and other stuffs are usual just like usual now in, we see the developer option in accessibility yeah in accessibility so if anyone is wondering where the developer option is it is in accessibility and we have the fly me account I've actually forgotten to install the gaps on this ROM so this ROM is running without gaps but I'll install these gaps later on now I'll just install 
C to Z to C how much RAM is available because in applications we are not able to see properly that how much RAM is available in running apps also I'll just sorry all files I'll just install the CPU Z now the installing background also looks good the white and the tinted status bar which looks good to me yeah one thing I forgot we have the smart touch which is like a toggle as you can see tap hold move slide you know, and we can modify them or just keep them as default yeah this wipe will just take you to the previous apps which is pretty cool and pretty fast also yeah like that it's awesome and just to disable it we'll just toggle the smart touch toggle okay so let's check the RAM availability first we need to clean all the background apps for cleaning background apps just keep pressing these recent apps button and you can either swipe to clean or clean all yeah that's good so let's check the RAM availability so available RAM is 1.8 GB sorry 1.7 GB which is 60 percent which is actually not bad but it's also not good because of the cyanogen mod we have approximately 1.9 GB and even though the gaps is also not installed so that's kind of weak point of this ROM but we'll just neglect that and we have the app store which is Chinese so basically you cannot use this app store properly so I'll just skip that part and let's go to the camera and see the camera user interface now I have seen a bug in this camera application I'll just show you so this is the auto mode where we can capture photos we can click it the camera is fast we have the manual mode and we only have the exposure composition and white balance actually I missed the manual focus mode from the MI4i which was also which was pretty good feature we don't have on this one I really don't know why uh, CPU 650 doesn't support that one so the bug in the video camera is that when we click the settings button we are not able to open the settings menu we are just thrown out of the camera application so that's it guys thank you for watching please subscribe